welcome to uh, today's session and I'm really excited because it's about Moodle and um, my favorite platform for uh, for learning. So if you could just add in the chat box uh, where you're from and uh, anything else you'd like to add in the chat box. If you can't hear me at any time, feel free to let me know. Okay. Um, it's really important. If you need support, uh, WizIQ is right here for these MOOCs. So they will be able to support you uh, right away. So support WizIQ.com. Don't hesitate because the idea is to improve. My name is Nellie Deutsch. And um, a little bit about me for uh, those who don't know, uh, this PowerPoint presentation is uh, available in the uh, course area, the uh, course MOOC for those uh, who've joined. It's in the courseware. For those of you who haven't, you're invited to do so. And then you can get all the PowerPoint presentations from all the sessions, all the uh, presentations that we've had so far. Okay, so I'm adding it to uh, the chat box again. So we've got Michelle from France. Welcome. And I don't want to call your names because I'm trying to keep this private <laughs> because I'm recording this and I'm, I'll be uploading it to uh, YouTube. So I'm trying to uh, keep the uh, chat and um, the um, attendee list private. Oh, cute. Nice. Nice to see everyone. All right. So this is a little bit about me. Um, I've been mentoring teachers on how to uh, teach in general, how to be. Um, and I think that's even more important. I'll be talking about how to be uh, the whole person. As you can see, uh, I've been involved and I am involved in transpersonal development and um, Reiki. I'm a Reiki practitioner. I practice mindfulness meditation. I'm faculty. I teach at Atlantic University in their AMA program in transpersonal psychology. So you can read about that. I'm also a TESOL teacher. I've been teaching English to speakers of other languages for over 30 years and love the experience. I still teach in a regular classroom and I teach monsters for those who think that my life is so easy. Uh, it's very challenging because um, I use blended learning. I use Moodle and WizIQ with my uh, huge classes, high school classes. Kids these days are pretty difficult. And I've got the honor of being part of the uh, young people's movement. I organize uh, live online conferences uh, and MOOCs. There's the Connecting Online. We'll have our fifth year with C014, also the Moodle Moots. And if you've got suggestions, I'm open. I've got lots of time, which means that I'm really busy. I think busy people have more time than people who are not busy. I also practice pairs, which is practical application of intimate relationship skills. I've worked in um, prisons with uh, male prisoners and their families, different things from, you know, being an English teacher. So uh, that's a little bit about me. I've written some books. Um, I encourage others to write. And if you're interested, contact me. Uh, I'm editing a few books right now with other teachers from around the globe. I'm on the board of directors for the World Association for Online Education, WAOE, and the TESOL Call IS. I'm involved in the University of the People. It's a free university. I don't know if you've heard of it. Anybody here of the University of the People? University of the People. Anyone? Well, if you're interested in a free university, uh, this is completely free. I think they only charge $100. You can get a BA for $100. Yes, the University of the People. Um, and that's um, a little bit about my adventures around the world where I offer workshops for teachers. My last visit was in Paraguay and it was amazing. Paraguay is a great place to visit some of my books for those that are interested. And uh, that's it. So let's get started with Moodle. Today's session is challenges and best practices with Moodle resources. So we're going to be focusing on Moodle resources. Resources are actually content and we'll look at some of them 
uh, today. Okay, in this session. The session is divided into two parts. One part is the challenges and the other part is a little bit more about uh, teaching in an online environment such as Moodle. So are you ready to Moodle? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to Moodle. I see, you can see that everybody's ready to Moodle here. You are. Okay, so let's Moodle. By the way, how many of you uh, have Moodled? Have you Moodled? If you have Moodled in some way, um, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't ever Moodled, not as a student, not as a teacher, give me a thumbs down. So let's see how many thumbs up we have. Since 2006. Well, I should mention that I've been Moodling since 2003. And I started as the administrator of uh, a Moodle. So I was thrown into the water right away. So if I throw anybody in the water, it's because I was thrown in the water. <laughs> and I think it works. Feel free to use the chat box, as I said, for questions and anything. And I'd like to, first of all, thank you for coming. Okay, it's not, you know, I don't take it for granted that you're here. I really don't. And your presence is very, very important. And I'd like to uh, introduce you to a book that I think you will like. It's called Presence. So Your Presence with Peter Cinch. I believe I added the link uh, at the top. Peter Cinch. I think I did. Uh, it should be there somewhere in the chat box. Here it is. It's called Presence. I don't know if you've heard of Peter Singe, but the idea is collaborative presence, not only personal presence and being in the present and having your whole presence wherever you are, but it's also collectively working together with other individuals as one and being present, as they say, one for all and all for one. All right, so uh, what are some of the challenges involved uh, for teachers in the face-to-face -face classroom. If you could think of one thing that you find very challenging. Oh, no audio? I see it going. Okay, maybe I, is it not loud enough? Uh, let me keep uh, looking at that. It seems to be fine. Um, I'm watching the bar going up and down and it seems to be fine. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep watching it in case you lose your voice. You lose your audio, sorry. So, uh, Victor, I don't know what to say except support. Now, that's the only thing I can say. Support with IQ. They will help you if you've got problems, and they do help. Okay, so uh, if you're having problems. All right, so one thing that uh, you can think of right now. What's a challenge? And if you've never taught before, think of the teachers that you had and what challenges they had, you know, and you can think of yourself, your classes. Um, I can tell you from my experiences as a student, a high school student, I would say that connecting with the students, I think connecting with the class, I'll write it, connecting with the class, I think is one of the challenges that I think my teachers had. You know, they, they were not able to connect with us. There was a, a huge uh, gap between the teachers standing in front of the class or moving around and the students sitting in their chairs. Okay, so I think that was one challenge. Yes, exactly. Ag Angualina. That's it. Exactly. Um, that's right, connecting with students, you know, getting their attention, but not only, you know, having them kind of, you know, dream and listen to you, but having this, you know, um, Stephen Downs mentioned, you know, how important, more than the content, how important the connections are with, uh, with people in general, and specifically with our students. 
That's right, Bertie. It's it's connecting with them so that they want to respond. You know, having a response from them is connected to hello, uh, William. Connected to you know a a a bond that we want to have with our students, reaching them. Exactly, uh, Kathy. Kathy, they're not reading the material. They're not really. We're not getting them to do what we want them. You know, it's like. If we could take them by the hand, like you take a baby, you know, if we could reach them somehow, you know, in the face-to-face -face online, I don't know if it makes that much difference. But yes, connect role. I think if we all go down to, you know, uh, the underlying factor, I think it would be connecting. And that's really important because this week, you know, is called connect. Uh, connected educators. That's what it's called, which means that everybody here is a connected educator. Okay, it's from the uh, United States uh, Ministry or of Education, uh, so it's CEM. You can get a, at the top, you can get a uh, badge. Okay, I added the link and the badge for uh, watching this class. could do elaborate what material they won't read. Well, you know what? It's not that they won't read it. They're not there. You know, that's why I say it's so important for us to, and that's why this MOOC is not only about Moodle, it's about transpersonal. It's about us. It's about people, okay? More than about content. All right, so let's get to the content. <laughs> And then we'll get to uh, everything else. All right. So first of all, we're talking about resources on Moodle. You lost your audio. I see my audio is going really well. Um, I don't know what to say. Refresh. If you lose audio or contact, I know it's not nice to say, but contact support because they will help even now. All right, there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into what's called Add an Activity or Resource. This is Moodle 2.5. Okay, Moodle 2.5. This is how you get to the resource. It says Resource. And these are the resources available on Moodle. That's a good question, Bertie. <laughs> That's an excellent question. Um, so the resources are book, file, folder, IMS, we'll get to what that is, label, page, and URL. We are going to go through each of these, but as a teacher in a Moodle course, you will be able to decide what you want, and then you click on Add. This is available. Okay, the PowerPoint presentation is available. Anybody else having audio problems? Let me know if you don't hear. So, <laughs> let me know if you hear. Give me a thumbs up if you hear. That's, that's better, because those who don't hear didn't hear me. All right. Okay. <laughs> I can see that it's going up and down. All right. So. You add an activity or a resource. We're talking about resources today. Again, the book is a multi-page resource. It's like a book. It has chapters, and the students go through each chapter. I'll go into this in more detail. Thank you for your thumbs up. There's a file, which is a picture. It could be any file, PDF document, spreadsheet, an audio, video file, okay, text file. It could be a folder, which is where you organize your files. And then the IMS content package, which is any static material that's available uh, on the internet. And then there's label, of course, which is just a heading. A label is a heading with words or images. It could be uh, also uh, a video. And then there's the page, which is like an internet page, a web page, where the student sees a single screen that a teacher creates with the HTML editor. And then there's the URL. Everybody knows what a URL is. It's the link. 
that the student clicks and they go into an outside link website. All right, so let's start with the book. Are you ready? Let me know in the chat box if there are any questions at any time. Just make sure you put a question mark. It'll be a lot easier for me to, uh, to see. And if you write about governments, if you could write where you're, the government that you're referring to, Jens, I didn't notice where you're from, but we can discuss that. Um, book, okay, the book module. Now it's called the module, a plugin, an application. Okay, these are different words for the same, oh, Anambia, for the same thing. Thank you, Jen. The book module makes it easy to create a very, very single area like a book so that students don't have to scroll or you don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll to get the information. You get it very compact, like you would open a book, okay, with a chapter. So that's what you do on a, uh, in a Moodle. And students can also contribute, which is nice. So um, the book allows you to get the main chapters. You can have sub chapters and they go, there are arrows, they go on to the next one. And I'll show you um, what it's like. Okay, so some questions. If you click on the links, these are uh, clickable links on the PowerPoint presentation, you'll be able to get frequently asked questions about book. And I highly recommend going into it and finding out because students can be involved in the book resource. You can allow them to edit so they can also add to the book module. Now here I mentioned arrows. So you've got arrows going back and forward. So you can navigate the book. You don't have to turn the pages. You just go from one page to the next using the arrows. And you can also print it, Elizabeth, if that's what you mean. Um, okay, you can print the, uh, the book, or students can print it, print the book. When you say scan the chapter first, I'm not sure what you mean. So to create a book, we must uh, chapter first, and the application turns into a virtual book. Yes, yeah, something like that, exactly. And you'll have a chance to practice this. I'll show you where later on. Okay, so what I'm showing you now is just a little bit of an overview, but you won't get it until you really practice. Okay, so just just sit back and let it kind of uh, go in. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry at all. That's not a good idea. So the book module and you'll get this explanation exactly there on the book on the book module enables a teacher to create a multi page resource. It gives you all the explanations and how you go about doing it. Okay, and then there is the folder. This is what it looks like. And the explanations, I'm not going to go over them. The explanations are right there. Okay, and I'll show you, I'll screen share in a minute so you'll see all the explanations are there. I just uh, used Jing to cut up and paste uh, this on the PowerPoint presentation. And then there's the IMS. Okay, which is a collection of files. And you can add this on different pages. Now, do any of you know what IMS stands for? Anybody know what it stands for? IMS? Nope. Well, here it is. Oh, Jink. Oh, I just downloaded Jink in my school today. I just love Jink. Just go into Jink. It's completely free. Um, and just download it, Maria. And if you want any help, I'll be happy to, uh, well, you say you're using it a lot. I can't live without Jing. <laughs> Jing is part of my life. Yeah, just download it. Just write Jing. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Thank you so much, William, for adding that. Everybody learns about Jing from me. Apparently people don't know about Jing. So the IMS is actually information management system. So you can bring information management system uh, 
programs into Moodle, which is really great. Uh, and there are different kinds of packages that you can import into your Moodle course. And you can practice this, and you will. Next is the label. The label is just a heading. You know, I don't know why they gave it this name. Uh, it's just a heading that enables you to add, again, you have an editor. Every resource and activity in Moodle has a rich editor. And that's really, really important because a rich editor allows you to add so much. You can add text, you can add images, you can add uh, audio, video, uh, you know, math equations if you're using math. It, it's amazing, all right? I, you can't live without it, okay? Otherwise, you'd have to use HTML codes if you didn't have a rich editor. So the label is just a heading. So you can organize your Moodle topic or section area, because, you know, Moodle is divided into sections, by adding headings. And then there's the page, of course. A page is just like a web page. And it enables you have all this information, enables a teacher to create a web page resource using the text editor. Notice the word text editor, I call it rich, will appear over and over again. Okay, so a little bit about that. The URL is a link, it enables the teacher to provide a web link as a course resource. Of course, resource is the content. All right, and that's it. Okay, so let me take you now to um, the Moodle site, okay? But before I do, let me share this. In order to Moodle, there's a lot of information on Moodle. And you may say, oh my gosh, I can't do this. How many people have tried Moodle and find that it's just too overwhelming? Moodle is overwhelming. Could you just uh, give me a thumbs up if you find Moodle over? Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Because it's you that I want to help. I want to help everybody. But, okay, thank you, glad to you. If you find Moodle overwhelming, you are correct. You shouldn't feel guilty. You are, William, you are correct. Moodle is overwhelming. Which is why you may have to, first of all, find out about yourself as a learner, as a person, you know, you have to sit with yourself. You have to watch yourself, listen to yourself. It's really, really important. Reflect on how you feel, blog about it, have a journal, and then, and then you will be able to work your way through Moodle because it's actually not Moodle that's complicated. It's our attitude to anything that's different. Okay, we're people of habits. And uh, it's very hard for us to manage something that looks different. And Moodle looks different. It doesn't look like anything you have ever seen before. And it's the same thing for the students. <laughs> the students find it less problematic because they're ready. You know, they're, they're used to all these, you know, things change all the time in their world. You know, Facebook changes, Google um, Plus, Google Drive, everything changes all the time. Things disappear, things come back, you know, and, and they're used to it. That's, they were born into a world of technology that's always changing. You know, the cell phones get upgraded once it's, you know, and, and smartphones start off being simple, then more, and, and they're into it. So they're, yeah, exactly, Raul. They're in this cycle of learning and they're finding it, they're not even questioning it. But we, we're questioning, we're saying, wait a minute, what do I have to learn this? I just learned this and now I have to learn this and now I have to learn that, you know, what's going on? So we have a big question mark where our students don't. This is their life. So I suggest we watch what's going on, listen to ourselves, reflect, and try to see how we can manage with all these changes. And then Moodle will become a lot easier.
Yes, Bertie, you can get uh, Moodle, of course, on uh, your smartphone. I use it quite a bit when I'm stuck somewhere and I need to do some work, uh, which is amazing. Yes, so definitely it goes with it. So I would not be hard on myself. I would try to understand myself. So what is Moodle? as a course management system and a learning management system. Moodle actually will solve so many of your problems if you let it. You know, let Moodle be. Don't fight Moodle. Don't fight the change. You know, go with it. Uh, I don't know if you uh, were here for uh, uh, Stephen's talk the other day, but he mentioned the word flow. Okay, flow. You know, flow with it. Don't fight it. Flow with it. You can't lose. You can only gain. All right. So I'm glad you love it, Katie. I'm glad you love Moodle. I love Moodle too um, because I used it right away. I didn't have a chance to think. Do I like it? I had no choice. Okay. I had to work with Moodle and that was it. So, um, you know, I was thrown in the water and, and that's it. And I do love it. I love Moodle. Uh, Moodle will save your life. If you don't fight it, don't fight it. Because Moodle provides me with a chance to connect with my students. I can connect Helena with my students. Remember we talked about some of the challenges involved for most teachers. The challenge is to connect with our students and Moodle allows me. And that's why I'm there. Hello, Jason. I'm there because Moodle allows me to connect one on one. I can touch my students in Moodle. Okay. Um, and it's really powerful if we don't fight it. I think Jason, I don't know when you came in, but Jason has some great ideas about and, and some rap songs, great songs about, and his motto, uh, if you can add that, Jason, to the chat, which is the three R's. And these three R's are really what it's all about, okay? And, and it's, it's exactly what the presence, you know, what everybody's talking about these days. Okay, here's the presence again. It's about the three R's. Jason, can you add the three R's there? Yes, and look what the first R. The first R is relax. That is so important. Our students are relaxed. They're relaxed when they see a change. They're fine with it. Okay. And the rest of it is something else. Okay. But the relax, okay, is really, really important. So I would say relax and reflect. Relax, reflect. Relax, reflect. Okay. So I would add reflect there somewhere, Jason. I would make it four hours. That's right. All right, so you're going to practice as a teacher because there's no point in talking about content. You need to connect with the content and then with your students. So you're going to practice as a teacher on a place called Moodle for Teachers. Um, if you could just add that. Anybody know the, the link or do I need to add it for you? Let's see uh, who's first in getting the Moodle for Teachers website, Moodle for Teachers uh, website. Let's see who's first. What's the link to Moodle for Teachers? By the way, if you go into the uh, courseware, you will find that these, uh, the PowerPoint presentation is, you can download it and everything is clickable. So if you click on Moodle for Beginners, Moodle for Non-Beginners, Moodle for Teachers, you'll get the link. Okay, so I'm waiting to see who's first. Very good, Peter. Way to go. I noticed, Peter, that you were there today. Peter Eckstein. Very good. Excellent. All right, there's mine. <laughs> you put in a course. Thank you, Peter. Okay, that's the uh, website. Thank you, Helena. All right, so there are two courses. One is for beginners and one is for the non-beginners. Anybody who's not a beginner, you can decide what you are. It's Moodle 2.5.2, actually. And you can practice as a teacher in a course, and that's really important. It's 
called this. Anybody have the link to that? Because I'm going to go there right now. So I'm going to screen share. Are you ready to screen share to go with me on a little tour? Okay, I'm on a Mac, so I've got to accept a lot of things here. Macs don't like Java. Don't ask me why. But they don't. Okay, so let me take you on the tour to a Moodle for Teachers website. Okay, so here it is. Here we are on the Moodle for Teachers website. Okay, and I'm going to scroll down. And let me show you what we have here. Here, if you click on this, you get the Moodle for Beginners. If you go below that, you get the Moodle for Non-Beginners. In the middle, you've got Moodle Practice Area, MPA. And if you click on that, you will become a teacher automatically. Anybody, but first you have to create an account if you don't have one. And if you have one, you need to log in. Otherwise, you cannot go there because Moodle is password protected. You can have open courses where um, people can go in as guests, but then you don't know who they are. And I wouldn't recommend it. So I suggest that you uh, make sure that you create an account and log in with your Okay, so I'm going to let that happen. Uh, because I'm going as admin, which is a mistake, admins may find Moodle a bit slow. So if you're an administrator of a Moodle, I suggest you have two accounts. One account um, as one account I suggest you have as a student or teacher. Teacher is better. And one is the admin and try to go in as a teacher and now it is admin because uh, admins tend to uh, have slower connections with Moodle. Okay, and that's just something that uh, happens. Okay, let me just open the location here so you can get the website. Okay, while I'm waiting for this to happen, you see it's taking some time. Here. Oh, I see I'm in. Okay. I wanted to show you the uh, the Moodle course for this MOOC. Okay, so now I'm I'm in, and I can see that Peter is here. Hello, Peter. And uh, notice there's a comments box here. You can add your comments here once you log into this Moodle practice area. And you can see Helena's here, Jen is here, and Guadalupe. Okay, and then I'm going to go in as teacher because. Um, Right now, I'm in as a... Uh... Okay, so let me go in here, Moodle Practice area, and change my... Uh, switch my role. You see, teachers can do this. They can become students, managers can become teachers, and administrators can become everything else. I'm going to go in as uh, a virtual teacher because that's what you will be. You will be called the virtual teacher. You're a teacher in this area. And let me show you what you're going to do as a teacher. First of all, you're going to turn editing on at the top right. If you don't turn editing on, you will not be able to practice Moodle features. Okay, you won't be able to practice adding activities or resources. And I encourage you to practice everything. Don't be afraid. The only way you can't hurt anything, you don't have the rights to hurt. Okay, <laughs> you're only a teacher, so teachers can't hurt the Moodle. So once you turn on editing, notice what happens here. Okay, this is the center. I see that Peter's here. William, hello. I don't see other people in here, but you will be in here. And then you've got the center. What you're going to do, I've said this before, I'll say it again if you haven't heard it. You're going to grab a section. Okay, I see someone grabbed my section, which is fine. So I don't, present tenses, I don't know whose this is, but I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it. It's in my section. I don't want it in my, and I'll put it in somebody else's. I'll put it in number, here, I'll put it here, number seven. So if you are present tenses, 
okay go to your section what I want you to do is I want you to grab a section. So as you notice, there are lots of topics. There's Rosanna, Peter, very nice. Look at his lovely sandbox. Great place. Puna, okay, Ben. All these people have their Harriet. Well done. Nice. Look at all the nice work you've done here. Unbelievable. Look at all the work. Wow. Okay, so I see the topic 15. Let's take topic 16. Okay, so you're going to grab a topic. Okay, so I'm going to grab this topic. How do I grab it? I go to the right you see it says add an activity or resource so I'll click on that and here I am these are the activities but today we're talking about resources so I'm gonna go into label okay I'm screen sharing so I don't know how we may not have be synchronized okay but you'll be able to see this later on I'll click on label and then I get this explanation notice here all oh, this explanation everything that I've added with Jing in the PowerPoint presentation I took from here it's all here and then I click on add don't forget the add and notice what happens label because I want a heading okay so what is my name let's wait for the rich editor okay because um, we need that you can add a video you can add text but notice what happens here Notice it says show editing tools. Click on that. Okay, this is something that you don't have in the old Moodle. This is in 2.5. Click on it and notice what happens. I get this little editor, you know, really tiny. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this box where it says if I hover my mouse over it says toggle full screen mode. So let me click on that. Don't be afraid, you can click on anything. You can't ruin anything okay remember that don't be afraid just click away all right so here I am I'm gonna write here a label so let me do I want a paragraph I want a heading let's make it big and I'm gonna call it uh, what should I call it I'll call it Nelly demo okay Nelly demo and then I can hyperlink this okay I can uh, add an image under it okay I can do so much here add an image that's either available or that I want to take from my computer or okay I can add a what should I add upload choose a file uh, what's this I don't want to add that uh, let's see what can I add JPEG all right let's add that okay and then I'll upload file and then I'll insert okay I've got something it says okay blah blah there it is I can hyperlink that too okay so you should play around with it don't be afraid okay play around with everything try things out take a look at it learn it by using it and then I'm gonna go back into this little thing that brought me here click on it there's the tiny little thing again and now I'm going to click on save and add to the course this don't forget I'm adding to my topic 16 this is mine and I want to grab it and let everybody know that stay away this is mine this is my territory for now okay because this is where I'm gonna practice and then I'll wait until you know it uh, saves okay there we go and then I'm out of the course oh here I am okay so I'm 16 right I can do two ways I can go to 16 here on the left click on 16 or I can scroll down to 16 whatever okay here's 16 and here I am oh I put it twice Ooh. okay that happens so let me delete one don't be afraid to delete you can always do it again that's what's great about doing things online you can delete throw away you don't waste anything okay so now remember I want to go here add an activity or resource and here is the book I want to practice that here's the explanation here's the file folder IMS try all of these don't you know don't be afraid to try everything remember you can't do any harm you can also um, add activities play around try them out add Add, add, and add, and don't be afraid. 
Okay, so uh, let me go up. See, this is the breadcrumbs. I'm at the top now. Topic, the course, Moodle MOOC, my courses. Okay, so let's go back home. Home is the front page. Okay, here I am back on the front page. If I want to find myself, I go to my courses. And where are my courses? On the left. Okay, you play around, explore. That's the only way you're going to get it. Okay, so navigation on the left will have my courses, my profile. Go into your profile, make changes. Okay, so let's go back to class. Okay, here we are. Stop screen. Oh, I wanted to show you uh, the course. Okay, this is uh, the course on WizIQ. Okay, that you should um, go in. All the information is in the courseware. Okay, and you should acquaint yourself with this as well because this is going to stay. And the Moodle will change. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it open until the next MOOC. Okay, which is in February. But if you want to get information and you want to get all the PowerPoint presentations and you want to get the certificate and you do have to watch at least 10 of these live presentations, you've got content. Notice how it's divided. Tutorials, content, and the classes. There are 22 classes. Okay, we've had quite a few so far. There are a few left. Today is the 22nd, there's the 24th, 25th, and so on. Take a look at that. Click on it. See what's there. Don't be afraid to click away. That's how you get information. Our students are not afraid. That's what they were born into. As who was it that said the other day? They were born into it. They have no problems with it. I think Stephen also mentioned that. So now here we are. Now, if everything has shifted, like, you know, on an airplane, if anything, if your things have shifted, be very careful. They're down at the bottom on the left hand side. Click on it, pop it up and it'll or pop it in and you'll see it on the right. OK, so everybody here. All right. So that's the Moodle practice area. Go there. Practice. Don't be afraid. You can't do anything wrong. But don't go into other people's territories, okay? Um, practice in your own area. Delete in your area. Don't delete anybody else's, okay? So that they don't uh, get upset. But even if somebody does delete something, that's fine. You know, that's fine. You can do it again. That's what's great about all this online work, that nothing is wasted and... Uh, you can do it again. And you know what? By doing it again and again and again, it'll stay. As Jason said, relax, repeat, and remember. So if you keep repeating, if things go wrong and you keep having to do it over and over and over again, you'll just remember it better. So every time things go wrong and things get deleted, say, yay, a chance to remember. Okay, so remember the three R's, Jason's famous three R's. They work. They really do. Feel free to add questions. If somebody deletes your material, how do you get it back? Well, if you were on a wiki, you could get it back. But here, you cannot. I'm trying to get uh, Moodle developers to work on this. I'm working with one developer. Uh, and I'm hoping that he will be one of those people who will enable that. That's one of the features that I want Moodle to have. But right now, you have to do it all over again. I mean, this, this is just a practice area, okay? Uh, so um, be happy if things go wrong, okay? Because it's a chance to remember because you'll have to repeat. Now, what do you see in front of you? If you could just let me know, what is that? Any ideas? What are you seeing? Exactly, it's a face-to-face -face class. By the way, how many of you teach in a face-to-face -face class? Good to see you, Anita. Anita is going to be presenting on the 24th. So I'm look, really looking forward to that. Um, 
it's a face to face. How many teach? Just give me a thumbs up if you teach in a face to face class. That means that you face students. They may not face you, but you face them. Only two? Let's see. Anybody else? Yes, yes. If you can find the, uh, there's a smiley there. If you click on the smiley, you'll get the thumbs up. Okay, so I see quite a few. That's good. Uh, because you have a chance to uh, use Moodle for blended, which is great. And I, I've yet to decide what's better, fully online or blended. I'm still uh, debating. I tend to think that fully online is a lot better for learning. <laughs> fully online, Helena, I know you disagree. All right. So look at what's different in this classroom. Okay, uh, what's different? I wrote a book on blended. So I, I'm one of these people that is supposedly an expert. Well, I am on blended learning, but I'm not sure if that if it works. According to my research, um, it's supposed to work, but there are some problems. If you're interested, we could chat about that, or you can read my book. Okay. So what's different about this classroom? Or what's the same? What's unusual? Like, so what is this the way your classroom looks? Your face to face? No desks. Mm -hmm. Notice how small the area is, the physical area, and notice how many students you can get into such a small classroom. Let's say if the ones that we see is all that we see. Yeah, they do seem to be in groups. Some of them, maybe. But it is different. Well, I went to Northview High School, <laughs> but I went to Northview High School in Toronto, not in Michigan. Oh, I wrote Michigan twice. I apologize. I went to uh, Northview Heights High School in Toronto, Canada. That was my high school. It was very, very uh, progressive. A lot of new things. We had a computer when I was in high school, believe it or not. Uh, it was a huge computer. took a few rooms, but we also had a swimming pool. It was a pretty good school, public school. Not not a private school, but it was pretty good. In any case, I found it interesting that this school is called Northview. And notice the chairs. What's special about this, the teacher is still using, looks like a smart board. It is a smart board. Okay, it's a smart board. But notice that the students are still using books and paper. Okay, they've got paper in front of them. What's interesting here is the modular chairs. Okay, these chairs can be moved around. You know, they're almost on wheels. They are. You can just wheel yourself around the classroom and group yourself. And I think that's really important. We started talking about connections and how important what we want to do is connect with our students. I'm not sure. Well, this teacher seems to be, uh, I mean, they seem to be paying attention to her. I don't know. But is she really connecting with them? Do you see connectivism right now? Just give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Is the teacher, in your opinion, connecting with the students? I don't mean that they're paying attention. That's not connecting. It's not about the content. Okay? It's about a human connection. Tutor. Like, um, Yeah, the chairs are different. If you notice, they're, um, they're chairs and desks together. Hard to tell, Anita says. Yes, it is hard to tell. Very hard to tell. We can only use our imagination. Okay? It's very hard to connect in a face-to-face -face class. Very, very hard. But it's very easy to do this online. You can do this very easily on a Moodle, one-on-one. -on -one. You can send messages 
to your students. Your students can send messages to you. They can send messages to one another. In a Moodle environment, it's very simple. You've got the content and you can connect. Okay, which is why I use Moodle with my face-to-face -face students. I would not be able to connect with them if I didn't have Moodle in an organized way. Moodle allows me to organize my classes and connect with each one of my students. Okay, um, how many of you have experienced connecting with your students online? It could be emails, it could be through uh, Google Draw. I mean, through any other kind of learning management system. What do you find easier? Connecting face to face, meeting your students and talking to them face to face, or connecting with them online? Face to face. I find that face-to-face -face is a waste of time, most of the time. It's also embarrassing for a lot of students. They feel very, very, they don't feel comfortable. They don't want to stay. <laughs> they want to go home. They don't want to sit with their teacher, you know, and talk unless, you know, they need an older person to talk to. You know, they just want to go, go, you know, leave me alone. I mean, some of them are polite, of course, but uh, yeah, leave me alone. Let me go home. Let me, I have a life. Okay, so um, I'm not sure about your students, but my students would rather communicate online. There's so much we can share, too. All right, so that's the um, end of the PowerPoint. It's not the end. It's just the beginning for you and for me, because we're always learning. So let's Moodle. And the place to Moodle is uh, Moodle Practice Area, MPA. That's where you're going to do it. That's where we're going to meet. That's where we're going to connect. And I'm not going to come to your house. Okay. And we're not going to meet at a pub or um, at a coffee house or I don't know. We're not at the park. We're not going to go for a walk. We're not going to have all that because we can't. It's impossible. And there's Moodle to make it possible. Why not, Helena says. Well, Helena, how, how? How can I get to you and to Jason? You know, I'd love to, I'd love to, you know, just transport me, as Maria says. You know, in Second Life, I, we could probably do it. But not in First Life. <laughs> okay, physically, maybe in the future, you know, uh, like uh, we'll be able to be transported and we could be in two places at the same time, maybe, or three places, or, you know. <laughs> okay, William, let's, uh, okay, let's put that date. That looks like a good odd number, <laughs> 2043. Teleporting, all right. So, Jason says, but I feel like I'm with, you. oh, you do. All right, Jace, uh, would you like to uh, tell us or wrap us? I don't know if you know this about me, but, you know, there are a lot of things. I mean, all of us have a lot of things about us. You know, we're not just one or two or three. We're, we're. We're multiple things, you know, we have a lot of interests. Well, one of my uh, interests is music. I just love <laughs> rap music, okay? I like loud and, you know, a lot of my um, PowerPoint presentations show that and people get angry at me uh, because why do you put that loud music? But I love loud and, and you know, energetic music. So Jason, um, you want to raise your hand and I'll... You want to say hello? I don't know. I don't want to embarrass anybody. But raise your hand if you'd like to say hello or speak or 
ask a question and so on. Well, um, let me just, uh, just extend this for five minutes and give you a little bit of the kind of music, but this is brilliant. This is absolutely, hello. This is, this is absolute. No, you hello, turned hello. yourself. I don't turn people. Dr. Nelly, did you turn me on? on? My husband, man. Come on, Jason, Jason. <laughs> Wait a second. All right, everybody, let me see you put your hands together. If when you learn, you're entertained. And when you're entertained, you learn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> M double O to the D L E. F to the O to the O to the C. We're in the mood, oh, mood. In Wiz IQ, as a crew, we pursue, renew, and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. We're open source as a Jason, group. Where we are you? Force. The loop is all we are. Wherever we are, you can move your lips, thought, please. We align to learn. We yearn to connect. Our intellects intersect, reflect, then inject. Much love into our projects with mutual Jason? respect. There's no limit to our prospects. We yearn to connect. Our intellects intersect, reflect, <laughs> then inject. Much love into our projects. Our intellects intersect. There's no Brilliant. limit to our prospects. Listen to the words. We're in the mood, oh, no. In Wiz IQ, as a crew, we pursue, renew, and review. In Wiz IQ, what do you want me to do? You already got me there, dude. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. We're in the mood, oh, no. In Wiz IQ, as a crew, there's so much we, we can do. Renew and review. Everywhere we share and compare points of view. In Wiz IQ, there's so much we can do. And compare points of view. So class, class and be a blast that has to surpass this other class of flukes they call moves. Don't conceal the real deals, the seal. We got Ooh, a can you follow that? Page on the world stage for a massive class to have class and be a blast that has to surpass this other well, class. A massive of class to have class and don't conceal the real deals, the seal. We got a social class engage on the moves. world stage. The real deals, the seal. Do it with me now. Yeah, come on, come on. Socially engage on the world stage. Socially this part's easy. Engage Socially engage stage. on the world stage. Socially engage on the world stage. M to the O to the D. Yeah, that's the Moodle Mook and Wiz IQ. To the o to the All right. So that's that's right, Anita. Socially engage on the world stage. The words, the song, and the song is brilliant. Jason, Thank I don't you know if much. people realize it, but if you listen to the words and the music, and it, it's, Thank it's you. huge. Thank you. It's absolutely <laughs> huge. And I want to thank you, Jason. We yearn to it's connect beautiful. our intellects it's intersect. It's beautiful. It's what it's all about. I wrote that song for Dr. Nell, and I wrote that song for Steve. You did? Stephen Downs. Thank you. Thank you. You did it for the world. That's for Stephen and Nelly. Jason is an example of someone who loves to Thank you very much. Share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you're great. <laughs> Don't need to patent things like that, my friend. Because I'm out. It's not just that. I'm. But also. Forget about copyright. We are. I'm out there so much on the internet. I don't have to wonder if somebody's using my That's stuff right. or not. It's right. very easy so these Jason, days. <laughs> what do you have to say about connecting online? You mentioned something that you feel connected. Thank you. Dr. Nelly, peace and respect. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This is going to be uh, uploaded to YouTube, so you can get it there. You can also get the recording by going into the same link that you use. If you want to get a... I suggest you copy the chat, everyone, right now, because the chat has some important information. Like, if you would like to uh, get a badge from the United States uh, uh, Ministry of Education, I think that's what they call them. I'm Canadian, you can tell that I'm not aware. We have ministries of education. But there it is. There's the, um, no, I got the wrong one. Let me try to do that again. If you take a look at the very top, you can get a badge. Let me try that again. Okay, hopefully I got it. Let me try it. Copy and paste. There we go. Um, you can get a badge for joining uh, this live session. And I want to thank you so much for coming. And I hope to see you on the in the Moodle practice area. 
so that um, you can learn, practice, and don't be afraid. Okay? Um, practice, relax. Remember the three R's relax. Don't worry if you have to repeat things because then you'll remember them. So thank you, everybody. See you on the 24th with Anita. Bye bye. Thank you. Don't forget that it's the students, it's the participants who make everything so wonderful. Thank you for connecting.